Over the last month, I'm sure you've heard a lot about honey, and not all positive. But bees are so much more than just honey. And over the weekend, I was reminded, as my daughters were rescuing every bee out of the pool and putting them on flowers, that if tonight I can convey some of the fascination and passion I have about honeybees to you, then I have done my job well. To collect honey, bees visit over 3,000 flowers a day. And they keep visiting the same type of flowers until that flower source is used up. And while they do that, they pollinate the flowers. And this has made honeybees so valuable for our agricultural crop, because much of what you eat is actually pollinated by bees. And some crops, like avocados and almonds, require 100% pollination. And so we have come to rely on bees for our daily food. But bees are under threat. And worldwide, beekeepers are struggling to keep their bees alive. And despite tremendous global efforts, we still don't really know why the bees are dying. And this is where my research comes in. So as agricultural crops move from cottage gardens to broad acre crops and high intensity planting, so does beekeeping. Beekeepers are shifting towards pollination services, where growers hire beekeepers to place thousands of hives into their orchards, orchards that are so large that natural pollinators can only service the edges. And this has put an extra stress on our honeybees. However, here in Western Australia, we're incredibly lucky. We have some of the healthiest bees in the world foraging on the most natural habitats. And this environment is ideal to study some of the adverse effects affecting bees in isolation. So my research group is working hard to develop tools that can help beekeepers keep their bees alive. We're using cutting edge technology to de decipher the molecular mechanisms effects like, um, that affect bees like nutrition and diseases. Because very much like you, bees get affected by diseases differently. Some bees get very sick with infections, while others appear to have stronger immune systems. And it's these differences that provide us opportunities to, develop, to um, breed or select for more resistant bees. So while the media has been buzzing over fake honey, we're focusing on saving the bees and supporting our beekeepers. Thank you. <laughs>